If you're an ally of Aboriginal people, good intentions simply isn't good enough. While you may have good intentions to speak up or do something in opposition to discrimination or any kind of ism that leads to oppression of Aboriginal people, the thing is that good intention does not negate and does not stop the harm that you may cause to the Aboriginal community. Here are a few things that you can do before saying or doing anything. Number one, listen to Aboriginal voices. Listen to their experiences, learn from them, and listen to what they're actually asking allies to do. Number two, do the work to unpack your unconscious biases. Number three, know your privilege and what that means. Number four, check the space that you're in and make sure it is appropriate for you to be speaking in those spaces. Number five, be open to feedback. Number six, if harm is caused, be prepared to give an apology and make it a genuine apology that is linked with your commitment to changing and altering your behaviour and make sure it is an affirmative action. And number seven, make sure you have time to reflect on any unconscious biases that came up during this whole process. And if you find that there are biases that misalign with being an ally, be sure to amend them. I send you so much love. And if you do want one-on-one -on -one allyship coaching with me, be sure to check out my link in my bio.